Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chains on our 2019 Toyota Highlander. So we are going to get some square links here. They are going to be pretty symmetrical and all the same sizes all the way throughout. So they are going to wear away relatively evenly. Also, they are made of a high quality manganese nickel alloy steel. So it is going to resist against that rust and corrosion over time and maybe some of that salt that you'll see obviously when there's snow on the ground. We will have diamond pattern and we will have cross chains as well. So we're going to get this nice diamond pattern so it's going to be a little bit smoother of a ride than some of your laddered pattern style chains. And then these cross chains are going to make it pretty nice just to turn and make all of those different maneuvers whenever it's slick on the road. Other than that, I would say these are a little bit less aggressive than some of the V-bar style or the more high, heavy duty ladder pattern chains, but they still are gonna give you more traction in the snow. It just will be a little bit smoother. So another thing that I like about these chains is just the fact that they take into consideration your wheels. Our yellow chains here are coated, so just in case that they maybe make contact with our rim in some sort, we don't have to worry about them scratching and really damaging them. Another thing that's pretty nice about these is just the fact that it comes with a tensioner built in. A lot of the different types, you actually have to purchase a separate tensioner. And that's just another part that we need to keep somewhere and not lose it when we ever have to use it. I just know I always lose stuff. So just having that all attached is definitely a plus for me. And again, this one is coated with plastic. So we don't have to worry about our hands getting really cold because if we're putting on snow chains, it's probably gonna be pretty cold out. Other than that, they do come in a pair of two and it comes in a nicer carrying case than some of the others do. A lot of the canvas bags, they kind of rip and stuff over time and I'm not really a fan of that. This one, I do think it's going to last a lot longer than those canvas bags and that is a plus for me. But other than that, Last nice thing about it is just the fact that it's super simple to install. I really think you guys can do it, but we do recommend that you guys practice putting these on. Because if you're in that situation where you're stuck, you're probably a little panicked and it's probably not the most ideal situation. So you want to be able to know exactly how to put these on before the situation arises. But let's just go ahead and go over those steps with you guys now so you guys know. So the first thing we want to do is just lay out our chains, make sure there's no kinks in our links or any tangles, nothing like that. And if everything seems to be good, then we can go ahead and just take one end and slide it behind our tire and grab it on the other side. And then we can take both of the sides, reach in our wheel well and make this connection just like that. While we're back here, might as well just grab some of these chains and start drooping them over. Just like so. I'm trying to get it pretty even in the tire. And then we can take our little green hook here and hook it on this link. It's gonna be three extra ones. We could use these other two, but for now I'm just gonna use this one. I think that'll give us the right fit. Now, we can come down low here we're going to have our little red channel and we're going to have our plastic coated chain. What we want to do is kind of just get that into that slot and then give her a good old tug. Get her nice and tight like that. Kind of lock into place. Then we can go ahead and use some of these loops here to run these through. Well, our goal is to be able to stretch this across itself the best we can. And sometimes they say we won't be able to use both. Obviously, we won't be able to use both here. And I really don't think we're going to be able to use the first one either. So one thing we do need to make sure of is just still going kind of cross just to kind of lock this into place. And we do want to make sure that the hook is going to be facing out just to prevent any unnecessary wear to our tires. Straighten this up a little bit. Like that. Look at that. So make sure it's nice and tight. And if it really isn't tight, you can always just go through one of these other red loops 
if you can, or we can even just maybe pick a closer link up top at our connection here. But as long as it's nice and tight, we do want you guys to roll over it a couple of times, come back out, and make sure everything is as it was. And if so, then you guys are ready to hit the road. Well, everyone, that just about does it for our look at the Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chains on our 2019 Toyota Highlander.